talking about Kumasi. Kumasi. There was a woman who gave birth to a child, and the child was named Anochi. And uh, when she was, gave, when the woman gave birth, her palms were closed. They took him to a very powerful uh, uh, shrine, a fortune teller. He came out to interpret that he's a deliverer. He's going to deliver a certain group of people. When he grew up, he got to know that dangerous were at the coastal side or uh, were ruling Ashantis. So he find his way to uh, Kwamang and then befriend the king. Then he advised the king that all the Ashanti living kingdoms, at that time Shaisis have living kingdom, he want to bring all of them together, unify all of them, so that they will be able to stand their warlords, the dangerous. They were very happy about this news, so gave them a time to uh, fast, one month for all of them to fast. And the fasting ends on Friday. At the end of the, why is it that he gave them one month for them to fast? That they should speak to their ancestors. They should fast, empty themselves spiritually, acquire some spiritual powers, so that on that day, the ancestors will choose one person among the eleven to become the head of all the eleven kingdoms, so that they will pay homage to this person, and then he is going to be the king of Ashanti Kingdom. All of them agree that is perfect. That's why saying. So they all fasted on the the final day, that Friday. They're supposed to meet at a certain place which is closer to a royal cemetery. They were there when the royal priest, Konfanochi, arrived mystically. He was just drumming and dancing and drumming and dancing. Earlier on, he had told them that whoever the ancestors selected, something would tell you, everybody will get to know, everybody will get to see. So they were there. Everybody expecting that you, you or she, he will be selected, sorry, he will be selected. He started moving up and down, dancing, dancing. Uh, people didn't understand what he was doing. He got to a certain spot and he stopped and started commanding some things according to history and uh, 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 legend. So when he stood at one place, he commanded and something came from the skies and landed on one of them laps. The person is called Nana Osei Tutu. Nana Osei Tutu. So in history, in books, you will read that Nana Osei Tutu is the first king of the Ashantis. He is the first person who received or who was selected to receive the golden suit as well as bring all the 11 kingdoms together. Before that, there have been some Ashanti chiefs. When he received the golden suit that landed on his laps, everybody was a little bit surprised. The golden suit came with several keys, several, and it is gold. I have seen it once in my life. It is in the form of a stool that we sit on. Yeah. Keys all around it. Now, if it were to be modern days, all the 11 chiefs have to append their signature. We have accepted it. There was a man that used so much wisdom. What he did was that he collected a piece of their fingernails, a little bit of their hair. He Add it together and then black stool. I'll later talk to you about black stool. How do we get a black stool? A black stool. He split it, burnt it to ashes, and then he added a palm wine. Remember, I told you palm wine is the only wine that human hands have not touched it. The way they brew it, no human hands touch it, but you get a very nice one to taste. He added to it 
how the ashes mix it and give it to all the kids to drink. Meaning, oh, sorry, if you take it, that means you have accepted Nana Osei Tutu as the king of the Ashanti kingdom. The residue, the remainder, he dug ground and put it there. And he has a sword, he put a sword on it and prophesied that what he has put on the ground several years to come is going to be a center that is going to heal a lot of human beings. Even not from only this kingdom, but from outside and they will come. Several years, hundreds of years later, when Kwame Nkrumah was the president, he wasn't there at that time, he didn't know, but it was the place that was selected for them to build a hospital. Currently, that hospital is there. It has been named after him, Konfu Anochi Hospital. It takes a care of the people from the uh, middle part of Ghana to the northern part of Ghana. It's a center of excellence. The referral cases are brought from all the other regions and even from uh, Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Togo, Ivory Coast to Ghana. The sword that is placed on it is also still there that you can see physical. There are a lot of people who are trying to exhume the sword. They couldn't because of the prophecy that he gave that no human effort will be able to exhume the sword. The day human effort exhumed the sword, that will be the collapse of the Ashanti Kingdom. When they were constructing the hospital, the, the, the foundation supposed to pass through that place. The contractor was known as Mr. G. They used earth moving machines trying to excavate it, pull it out, and then, you know, go ahead with the construction. They will try, the more they try, the more it goes down. They will let it go the following day they come, they will see its surface, they will try and it will go down. And they were not able to excavate it. And it's still there. You can see it. So they have to push the foundation a little bit away, and they left it there. At the end of it, he said, we need to, now we have a chief, we have a king, who is going to take care of all the loving kingdoms. Why is the king going to stay? We need to have a capital for the kingdom. The capital for the kingdom, what he did was that, there's a certain type of tree. And this tree, he has two of them. Locally, we call it Kum tree. Kum tree. It does a lot of wonders. He planted one at Kwaman and one at another place. And he came out to say that the one that germinates is going to be the capital of the Ashanti Kingdom. If any of them died, then that one is dead. After some time, they saw that the one that was planted here germinated, did work. So Kumasi literally means the Kum tree that they planted has germinated. The tree that we planted did well, has germinated. And the other one that died is called Kumewu. The Kum tree is dead, it's gone. So we have Kumewu and then we have Kumasi. That is the meaning of Kumasi. Uh, 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 the Kum tree you know, has germinated. Thank you so much.